welcome back now in this video we will create a rounded button simply for the sign up okay whenever the user will enter all of this detail then right down in here there's gonna be a rounded button for the sign up so first what I'll do I'll go right at the top and we will just create a bool type is loading so below this file for image in here we will say bool type and it's gonna be simply private so in here underscore then we say is loading create that in here bool type and we're gonna set that to false write it and semicolon so we are done with that is loading and we're gonna use that right down in here so what we will do below this align widget in here we will say if there will be any kind of loading then what we will do whenever first whenever the user will enter all of this detail and right after that if there are gonna be any kind of loading then we will show the circular progress indicator okay so in here what I'll say if there are gonna be any kind of loading so in here we will use that is loading the bool tab that we just created a while ago in here if there's gonna be loading then what we will do in here if and then we say right in the center okay in the center of the screen we will have that central widget first and take this down in here we will take the child and now we'll have a container in here container widget there we go right in there first we will set the width for that specific container it's going to be 70 and also we'll set the height is going to be 72 okay similar and right at end child will just show the circular progress indicator as I told you already okay now just in here add the cons modifier so I hope you will really get the idea if there are going to be any kind of floating right in if we will show right in the center of the screen that's why we use that center widget okay and there you go the container with a specific height in width and we will show that circular progress indicator is there going to be any kind of floating and it's right inside the if okay now below right in here we will say else okay move it to the left side like that and take this down so in here right in else we'll have a rounded button there we go with the suggestion in here comma take this down let's provide the tags and the tags that we're gonna have in here is gonna be simply sign up okay as I told you already and in here comma it's gonna take the press event as you guys can see in here curly braces and tag this down first add the library for that so the red line will be gone then okay rounded button dot dot and you guys will also see the suggestion for text and press before we didn't add the library okay now we will just leave that press even empty for now later on we will create a method in which we will simply just submit the sign of form okay all of the working will be right in this method that we will create it later so now in here we will just leave a comment that we will just create a submit form on sign up. so that we just remember later we will create that method later for now we will just complete the UI design first and if you guys just press the control s first guys I have already horse load your okay so there is no need of doing it again I'll just press the control s and you guys will notice the rounded button for sign up right down in here okay now control s and there we go boom okay sign up the beautiful design now as I told you already first we will create the UI design and later on we will create that method okay now below this rounded button what I'll do first we will create some height because 
you will have the already have an account checked okay so first we will get some height between that download budget for sign up and the already have an account checked that we will use just in a while so below this rounded button let's have that size box provide the height in here we will say screen height multiply it and gonna take the 0 0.03% of the screen in here comma now in here we will say already that we go with the suggestion as you guys can see okay take that from here remove it the press we will add it just in a while now write it and comma take this down first we will just set this for the sign up screen so in here then we will set this to false that login okay because we're gonna set that already have an account checked for the sign up screen so the login can be false then we don't want that right on the sign up screen so we set this to false and you guys will notice the output just in a while first let me just complete the code so in here it's going to take the press even in here call the brushes take this down from here and we'll set the navigator it's going to simply push the user right towards the login screen so in here navigator dot push it's going to take the contacts and now we're going to just provide the root material page root in here contacts provided and I'm gonna take this one from here so that you guys can see it easily now in here let's get the user to the login screen and you go this again write it and semicolon so all of the work for this already have an account check is done and I'll just press the control S and you guys will notice the output control S and boom there we go okay as you guys can see right in here already have an account and we set this for the sign up okay screen as you guys can see right in the board of sign up screen so in here if the user will have already an account then he or she can simply click on this sign in and it's going to tag that user right towards the login screen okay and we set the navigator right in here and it's right on the sign up screen and you guys can see the output right in here that's why in here we set the login to false because we want that right on the sign up screen not on the login screen okay so in here you can see the result all is good and what I'll do I'll just simply click on this sign in and it's going to take you right towards the login screen okay boom there we go as you guys can see we are now on the login screen okay it's working totally fine let's go back towards the sign up there we go it's working totally fine what I'll do I'll just simply create a little space between that already have an account and the sign in okay that tags button because it's a way too close so what I'll do let's go towards the already have an account checked and in here as you guys can see in here that okay that tax button in here and above we set the gesture detector so in here just create a space like that okay now close that back again right in the body of a sign up screen okay there we go so now what I'll do I'll just simply hold to load the app and you guys gonna notice the space between that okay or to load the app simply and you guys just now or what is the output go to the sign up screen and boom there we go as you guys can see the space between them now so it's working totally fine and we are just left with the method okay submit form on sign up so this video is getting a little lengthy right in the next video we will start working right on this method so see ya